be hard to imagine just how much damage winds that strong can cause. Yeah, Local 22's Courtney Adelman spoke with some wind experts say to see just how we prepare our buildings to withstand these kind of monster storms. Courtney? Yes, Lauren and Glenn, with Hurricane Dorian having sustained wind speeds of about 183 miles per hour, I went to find out exactly what high winds are capable of doing and how experts try and construct buildings to be spared from major damage. Hurricane Dorian moves through the Atlantic with record-breaking winds. And just how strong does a hurricane have to be to tear apart buildings? A roof of a typical residential home, let's say you have 18 hundred square feet of roof, you, you put a, a category one hurricane over it, the, the roof would, be, would need to hold down roughly three or four U.S. size SUVs. You put that same house through a category five hurricane, now it has to hold down 13 cars. Jens Muller Madsen is a wind engineer with SOH Wind Engineering in Vermont. The company studies the pressure of wind speeds on buildings around the world. We blow the simulated wind field on them and we measure how big forces occur in these buildings and translate them into something that the structural engineers can use for their design. They use models to predict what would happen to buildings when a hurricane hits. We build tiny models and we scale down the wind in the wind tunnel. So the wind speed is low compared to a real hurricane, but they can actually mimic the effect of a hurricane. And Muller Madsen says it's all about force. Double the wind speed, you quadruple the force. So double the wind speed is four times the force you add to it. I got to see for myself. And as you can see right now, my hair is blowing, my sweater is blowing. This wind is certainly uncomfortable and it's only 30 miles per hour. In a category five, it's just done. It's massive, massive forces. Muller Madsen says there is no way to build a structure that will survive anything, but he hopes his work can help answer questions as record breaking hurricanes like Dorian continue to occur. Are we seeing stronger and stronger hurricanes? Is, do we really know the effect of a hurricane on a house? All those questions are, are essentially constantly being asked and partially answered, but in the case of major hurricanes, they tend to resurface. And the company says they will be having groups going out into Hurricane Dorian to test these wind speeds, and they hope the tests can try and predict how to sustain these b buildings from winds in the future. Wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, I, you know, just seeing it, we watched your story earlier, it's right. 30 miles an hour. I mean, you would have thought 70 right. with how much your hair and the sweater was blowing around. <laughs> Could you stand basically still? Was it, was it easy not yeah. to be kind of thrown around? It was a little hard to stand still. Uh, the camera I know was shaking. I had one of the guys holding it down for me because right. that was about to fall over. Um, I could... I could stand, but I think if they had put it up a little bit higher, then I would have been really struggling. So 50, 60, 70 miles an hour would have been in trouble. So it's hard right. to imagine 183 right. sustained. I think yeah. that storm had gusts of like 220. Yeah, and 30, so. 30 seems like nothing compared to, you know, 180 or 185. Right. So, so yeah. scary for these people, what's, mm. what's yeah. happened in the Bahamas. Yeah, now right. these first images, of course, are, are just coming out. All right. right. Good Courtney, story. Thank you, Courtney. Thanks.